there, I'm Amy Lacurda with livinglacurda.com. I'm so happy you're here to do some Christmas crafts today. We are gonna make the most beautiful floral arrangement for Christmas. It is so easy and gorgeous. You'll probably wanna make several, so take note to when you go out to the store or you order pails online, you're gonna to wanna to get a bunch. If you haven't ever watched one of my videos, I do a lot of really cute, fun food. I also do easy recipes, drinks, game day ideas, and a lot of DIYs. So this is one of my favorite DIYs, especially because it's Christmas season and we're all probably home and this is just a great activity to do with anyone in your house. It is super easy, cute, and very inexpensive. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel, so go ahead and do that and then we will get started. So what you're gonna need are three pails of different sizes. Now I found these at Hobby Lobby. They're super cute, really cheap. I think this one is $5 and I got it half off. So look for those sales. Those are amazing. So that was only $5 half off, so basically $2.50. And then there were three sizes, so I got three. And I went ahead and made one of the floral arrangements before. Now this is super cute. I made it in the tiny one. You could actually put this just anywhere in your kitchen, give it to a friend for Christmas gifts, or put this on your mantle. Um, that is alone just super cute, but whenever I saw the different sizes, I just knew they needed to be stacked. So you're gonna just love what we're gonna do today. You gotta wait to see how pretty it is when we're done. You're, it's gonna blow you away. First of all, you're going to start with the smallest pail that you have. So go ahead and make your flower arrangement, whatever you want. I, I used these roses because I just love red and I love the buffalo check, perfect. My kitchen's red, I love red. So go ahead and you could do white flowers. You don't even have to have fresh flowers if you want. I found a bunch of great things for half off at Hobby Lobby, just little pieces of garland and pine. These are not real, but you could actually have real ones if you want. So once you've done your very tiny pail, when you have something inside there, you can stack them, right? Okay, but I, I tried a margarita glass and it was a little wobbly and I didn't want to break my margarita glass. So I found the jars and they were too wobbly. So I put some, some rocks inside them to make this, to weight this down. So when you want to pick it up or you want to move it around your house, it's not going to all topple over. So we want to make sure we do that. So this one fits perfect inside of the larger pail. So I've done that. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and keep stacking. Now you can decorate this, but it's easier when you have all of them together. Okay, and you wanna make sure you line up your little pails together. So you've got it all lined up, and I'm doing this backwards <laughs> to show you. So it might be a little messy. And then this one, I didn't have a lid for it. It's no big deal because it was smaller than the smallest pail there. Okay. So I'm putting that inside here. It's still a little wobbly. You might want to add more rocks. Now, if you want to keep this, you know, where it's not going to fall, you could hot glue, put some hot glue down and then stick these together. For this tutorial and what I did for myself is I'm just stacking them and hoping my kitten doesn't come over here and knock it down. Crossing fingers. <laughs> and then when you stack them all together, this alone just looks gorgeous. But we're gonna keep, you, you wanna make sure that you fill every little layer in. So how pretty is this? I just love it. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and get started adding the greenery. And we'll start with the bottom. All right, so just cut some that are kind of, I, I love the, the longer versions of these, like the cedar. Okay, now I'm just, I really, I'm doing this backwards. <laughs> So you tell me if it looks good. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with the longer ones and just start adding pretty floral. All right, I mean, it's really easy. I just love these pails and I've got a whole, a link down below to some that I found on Amazon that are also really pretty and rustic looking. I, I just love that look right now for Christmas and the Buffalo check is just so popular that gotta do it. 
Okay, so right now it's starting to look really pretty. Of course, I can't really see on your end. I'm just looking through my camera here. And then I love berries, so make sure you sprinkle, put some sprigs of berries or, or different items inside your pail. Okay, I'm not doing the back, but if you wanna do a whole 360 version where it's the centerpiece on your Christmas table, you wanna do all around. Now these are very inexpensive, so it's no big deal. I think this is one that can go, I'll leave this out. Well, I'm gonna add some flowers within this, so I don't wanna to put too much greenery in here. And have a little, you can have a little leftovers, you know, to add if it looks kinda of empty to you. Okay, how's that look? Yeah, I think it's good in there. Seriously, this is like five minutes. Okay, now let's start on the next pail. All right. This would be so beautiful with actual real um, cedar and Christmas tree, but I live in Dallas and we don't, it's still like summer here. <laughs> so I can't find any of that yet. In a, in a few weeks it'll come out. So maybe I'll change some of this out. All right, so I think, I'm, I think that looks good. I can't really tell. <laughs> How's it looking? Can you see it? Here, I'm, I kind of match. I'm, I'm, I match, so it's hard to see what this is looking like. Okay, now this is kind of long on this side, so I'm gonna add a longer one on over here to even it out. Cool. All right, so I've got a little red on one side. This is how I kind of figure it out. You just don't want to put all the red on one side. You want to make it a little different. Oh, this would be pretty up here, the top. Ooh, awesome. Okay, and I'm gonna put one in the front, sort of. I made a bow. This is the easiest messy bow, and it takes five minutes. And I thought it was super cute and I've got a tutorial and you can check that out down below. I've got a link to that if you want to make the messy bow to go on it, which I love. How beautiful! I think the bow really makes it extra. You need that extra. Okay, I think it looks good. Of course, I'm doing this backwards now. I would normally do it, I would normally face looking at it. So <laughs> we're just doing a really quick tutorial. And I've got some fresh roses that are all cut and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in all around because I think they need. Now, this is gorgeous. Can you see it? This is gorgeous just the way it is. But if you even, if you wanna embellish even more with some real roses, I highly recommend it. Okay. Make sure you use some water and fill your, the pails that you've got the roses in. So once you've got the water in your pail for your roses, it'll weight this whole thing down. You don't have to worry about it falling over or anything like that. Voila! Isn't it gorgeous? It turned out so pretty. And I even did it backwards. So if I can do this backwards, you can do it. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> paying attention. But how pretty did it turn out? Ah. I just love it. Yay! I hope you had fun doing some DIY with me. And please come back and check out my blog, livingwithcardo.com, for more fun ideas.